one thing about uh, LRZ, he is a talented guy, and then the pads are coming on. So, like we, you and I said from the get go, it's not going to be easy for him. I mean, this is it's a new world that he, that he's getting into right now. It's a whole new world. It's going to take some time. But uh, I got some clips here, um, and this is pass protection. We saw last week him working on pass protection after practice. I got some pass protection clips from LRZ, and I also got him running an open field um, uh, practice with the, with the pads on. So. I want okay. you to take a look at that. I want you to say, what, what, tell us what you see here. You, you're, the, you're the pass blocking extraordinaire, J.D., so you, you know what you're seeing. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate that. <laughs> so this is LRZ, um, some looks of him at practice. So LRZ taking a handoff here. Not bad. I mean, it was good blocking there. I mean, last week he could, they couldn't block anything for him. And, run, it, run that back. Can you run that one back? Yes, sir. What do, you, what do you make of that, JD? No, nah, I mean, shoot, looks good. Good vision. Good vision, yeah. Good vision. You know, it's got to the hole where he needed to get to. So that's that's what we need him to do, right? Get the handoff, right? For the pitch. There you go. Good. There you go. Finish. Finish nine. Finish. <laughs> Score. Score every play. Oof. So this is uh, our guy LRZ going against undrafted rookie Curtis Jacobs, who I, I love so far. And apparently people are raving about him at camp. Mm -hmm. Get back in there. Here we go. Throw him back in there. That was the end of that. Uh, do you want me to go back to the, the the first reps? Yeah. So we'll we'll talk about it a little bit here. So obviously, man, it, it look this is this is brand new to him. For guys that that have done it for years, uh, they still don't have it down. So, you know, this, this is kind of what we expected. You know, he didn't quite know what to expect. I guess coming out of here, how it was going to be in this. But I think what what you're telling me is, like, man, be aggressive. Hit what you see. Move your feet. Now, this right here is just moving his feet at this time. Uh, that's the context of it, taking the air out of it. So anytime that, you, that you're that you striking a guy, you, you want to try to square up as much as possible. You don't want to be on one side or another. Um, this is difficult. And that's holding right there. They'll call it every time. So uh, the more, more of this he can do, the better off he's going to be. And the thing is, you, the, the only way you're going to be able to sim simulate this, Marcus, is do it live. This is the only way you're going to be able to, to simulate something like this. You know, not having pads on is not going to cut it. So this right here, this this type of live coming at him, uh, the more he does, man, it's just he'll just get better at it. So uh, I didn't really have any high expectations that he was just going to come off and just striking guys dead in the mouth. Um this this is part of like the lateral movement that he has to get used to in the NFL, right? Uh, even if you're you're talking about like when he took the the pitch, the pitch was there. He seen the hole and he hit it. That's great. If he has to make a cut or any of those things, then it, it changes things for him, right? It's just that's reality. Uh, but it's right here, man. Just trying to meet him at the line of scrimmage. A little bit more aggressive on that one. He's got to keep his head up too. And you know, just trying to strike him square. But I, I, I love his, uh, you know, him, him, him trying. I do. I, I love, you know, that that a guy is not scared to just go ahead and and, and try something that you've never done before. Uh, so I commend him for that. I commend him for that. What do you yeah, that, think? That last one, you, I noticed the aggression there too. That that reminded me, at least for me, like when, when like certain drills when you can't get them right, when you're getting beat like one on ones or whatnot. That's like right there. What he's showing right there is like I'm like pissed off, and I'm just trying to like get it, just do anything to like try to like get him, get in the way of that guy. Because that was, like, that was like a pissed up more frustration there. But I mean, I mean, because it's got, it's got to be kind of frustrating, right? Where like you are coming from the top of your game on your sport, you're coming here, and you're mm -hmm. you know you're not probably the first time in a long time where he's not excelling at every drill, um, on on a field. 
right? I mean, it's right. a new game to them. So it's like you're, you're, you're kind of taking that, that bump from being the top dog of your sport now to this. You're like, it's kind of, and I'm sure he knew this was going to happen. It was going to be kind of a learning curve anyway. But yeah, this is, I mean, you're taking your lumps early on. It's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, it's a huge jump. We, we, we understood that, you know, we, we know this. And, and so it, it, you know, it's one thing to be uh, optimistic, you know, the guy's going to be able to come in and whatnot. Uh, but anything he's able to do well, you know, applaud him for it, right? Get him out at a boy. There you go. At a boy. My nephew right here, who was a running back says too slow on takeoff. So, uh, so initially on this, when he's when he's talking about right here is opening up, like you got to go, and the the patience of it, and then you know they're not tackling right here. I think forty nine might have had him in the backfield, but what I looked at, go back to it. I just want to look at the blocking scheme real quick. Let's see, hat on hat. This is all outside zone. But yeah. Open up, good cut, down go. All right, it's not bad, not bad. So, uh, but like my nephew, who was a running back, who was a very successful running back, uh, you know, he he sees something totally different. I, and and I know from his perspective, he's hitting it on this on this pitch. He's opening up. You hit it. You make everybody right at this point. So. Uh, I know, I know it's what he he's talking about on this. Um, and probably a lot of thinking going on, JD. I mean, the, 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 that's probably just going through his head. And, that, and that, probably why he's acting, playing slower because he's thinking too much about it. Yeah, but but giving plays like this, you know, something he's used to, catching a pitch, right? Getting out and open and finding some space. This is perfect for him, right? And he sees daylight, now go. So this is something he could, he, you know, he – this is his forte, something he can do. Uh, and so when you when you do things like that's what you got to give him. This right here is just he, he's he doesn't know what's happening. Okay. He this is probably his first, this is probably his very first time doing this drill live with a, a, against another chief. So and, and, and you see him like square looking after the play, he like does this to try and mimic what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah. Cause it's one thing because you're hitting bags. This, this is totally different when you're hitting a different body, not that you know, and it, with pads on. So Yes, you hit people in rugby, but striking them head up and then, you know, these guys are proficient in lateral movements, like the best in the world. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be hard, man. It's going to be hard. So, John Clifford, what's up, my man? Good to see you come in the chat. Why be negative? What's up, man? Good to see you, too. Drace and Michael, good to see you. Uh, LRZ looks athletic, but I've seen about five clips. You can see he's still learning. Kind of like when you first start playing golf and you're thinking about too much at once, you'll get there. I agree with you. Yeah, Jason Mike is it's a process. We understand this, and so uh, any success that he had, like I said before, you need to be pat on the back. You know, he does something good, something like this. Yeah, give him, add a boy, encourage him. Yeah, you keep going. Right. We can't expect for him to be like a pop or CH, or Daenerys Prince, or all the other running backs that we've seen over the years. They've, they've been doing this for years, okay? Since probably when they was, you know, knee tight, knee high to, uh, uh, what they say, grasshopper or something like that. So this, this is the way it is. This is the way it is. So it's going to take development. I got no problem with it whatsoever, right? Yeah. yeah I love I it. What, what's that? What were you going to say? I was just going to say, I, you know, I love it. I love it, you know, just him coming in and just wanting to get it done, right? That's the encouraging part. He, he's not backing off of anything. Coach said, man, get back in there. It's your turn again. No, no, no. Go again, right? And so, are, are you, I guess, like, we knew this was going to be a work in progress, a, a project. I mean, it's why it's, the, the, the international pathway program, I know he's, I know Chu Godrick's our pathway player, but I mean, he is a pathway guy. Uh, that's, yeah. where we, that's where we got him over here. But are you surprised? Uh, what you're seeing right now, uh, the blocking drill, um, you know, him getting you know, swallowed up in the backfield last week, just kind of the overall, uh, the way he's looked so far. Are you, Is this right about what you thought he'd look, J.D.? Is this, is this kind of right on par for what the way you thought he'd look, or you think he'd be better than this, or is this right on par with what you, how you thought he'd look? No, I didn't, this, this is probably what I, I thought he would probably look like. 
uh, unless he's just a savant and he's just got full ability just to become this great football player that has vision and seen it and, you know, just in his, in his mind, he can see every lane and blocking assignment and he just knows how everything is going to work out. And so we know when we, we write up, you know, the blocking scheme behind us and it looks great on paper. Right, Marcus? It looks great on paper. Everybody's got a hat on a hat. And look, look, you're supposed to run in this hole. That's how it's supposed to look. And then when you get out there in the fire, something totally different. It doesn't look like the board looks, okay? You know, it was like, oh, my gosh. This is, this is something I've never seen before. Yeah, these bullets are flying. This is a totally different thing. So I, I this is what I expected. Uh, I've seen a little bit of success, some positive things. That's a good thing. So he's making progress. Well done, LRZ. Well done. Okay? Well done. So I'm not going to be disparaging against this guy at all. So I only, all, all he can do is go up. All he can do is just get better. Okay? Yeah. So it's just an encouraging part of it. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, Subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.